It's Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is Wednesday, May 13th, 2020. Number one, Donald Trump's lawyers went before the United States Supreme Court Tuesday to try to squash subpoenas calling for Trump tax and financial records. Among the arguments presented to justices by phone, can the Congress subpoena personal finances of a president outside of an impeachment case? And can a state, in this case New York, subpoena a president's personal info for a criminal investigation? The high court's decision is expected just as Donald Trump's campaign against presumed opponent Joe Biden gets underway. Number two, how did excessive speeding lead to the death of 48-year-old Adrian Medeiros by Houston police? The gospel singer and choir director was pulled over for speeding and arrested after failing sobriety test. But Adrian's family wants answers and says the Houston chief of police is failing to fully communicate with them, which includes providing video of the stop and the shooting death of their loved one by a Houston police officer. Number three. As the pandemic continues to upend lives around the globe, data on its effect on black Americans continues to echo the need for racial and health care equality. In majority black counties, deaths from coronavirus are more than triple the national average. Factors including pre-existing health conditions, the stress of poverty and crime contribute to the effects of this pandemic on black folks. Number four, eight years after Trayvon Martin was murdered by George Zimmerman, there is another Stand Your Ground shooting death of another black teenager with a twist. 17-year-old Adrian Green was shot in the back by a Sanford, Florida homeowner during what may have been a botched car burglary. And here's the twist. Attorney Mark O'Mara, who represented George Zimmerman in the Trayvon murder case, is now representing the family of the murdered African-American teen. Number five. Last weekend, photos of armed anti-lockdown demonstrators went viral as the group entered a downtown Raleigh, North Carolina subway sandwich shop with weapons slung over their shoulders. Despite the group's claim to be peaceful, brandishing guns and rocket launchers in a sandwich shop does not say peaceful, especially during this time of fear and uncertainty. We must continue to be proactive in taking care of our health, protecting our families, and modeling the good we wish to see in the world. Join me today on Instagram Live at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central, as Stephen Hill and I discuss today's top headlines and more. And that's what you need to know. For more information, go to SybilWilkes.com and sign up for my free newsletter. Be informed, be empowered.